here with Alan Peterson, also known as A.C. Peterson. Yeah. Hi, that's me. <laughs> that's me-ish. How does it feel to have uh, one of your episodes of Olympus screening tonight? You play King Minos. Yes, King Minos, the guy whose wife had sex with a bull. And he had a son that was half bull and half human. It was the, the Minotaur. We all know about that, I think. And he built a labyrinth to put this Minotaur in. And seven virgins had to be sacrificed every year. Seven boys and seven girls. So that's sort of the history of King Minos. But he's, uh, at, the time, at the time of the show, he's, uh, he's the ruler of the world, the so-called civilized world, you know. He's conquering and taking over, and that's what he is. And, Psychopath. and in terms of getting into character for such a, you know, epic, big character like that, what, what was your process like? I, um, I've realized to not influence things too much, to just show up and things happen. Mm -hmm. You have some ideas. And it was so loud. I mean, I flew in, they put the armor on me, and I was pretty much on the ground running, playing the role. So I chose... Uh, to play him as a guy, <laughs> as a guy, and then, then let the trappings feed it and the plot feed him and stuff like that. Okay. It's not a complicated process for me. Great. And starting out, you uh, studied with Stella Adler. Stella Adler so, was one of my great teachers, yeah. Tell me, uh, you know, a few of the things you learned from her because she's such an iconic acting instructor. Um, she was a blazing sun when she came into the room. She's one of the few American... Um, acting teachers to have actually studied with Stanislavski. She went to Paris and studied with Stanislavski at the end of his life. And uh, what does she teach? She talks very much about the social moment. She talks very much about using your imagination. She talks very much about, talked very much, she's just dead now. Contrary to what I'm doing, which is showing up as me, um, is she says, it's not you. You are nothing. You have to create this world. So I guess in terms of the application for this role, even though I say I show up as me, things start happening, right? So that's part of the stock and trade, I think, as an actor, is you, you have to be very sensitive, vulnerable, receptive, open, and responsive to the imaginary circumstances. And speaking of imaginary circumstances, mm -hmm, yeah. uh, you're also playing the villain in an animated film, Spark, with Susan Sarandon and Hilary Swank. Yeah. So in terms of animation and creating those circumstances, tell me a little bit about uh, that process. Well, that's sort of, that's the voice, really. It's all voice, and it's very, cartoons are very exaggerated. Mm -hmm. So it's like an opera of, uh, an opera of sorts, of, uh, of just using your voice and going, Balls to the wall with it, you know. <laughs> and what was it like? Uh, I know you've worked with many very well-known actors over the years, but what was it like working on that project in particular? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's just you. You're not with the other actors. Okay. You're alone uh, creating this whole thing, working with the director, and he's telling you to do this and that. Okay. Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit more about this villainous character? I'm not allowed to. Oh, nothing? No, nothing. <laughs> we sign these papers nowadays, so it's, it's something to do with the confidentiality. Okay. So everybody's very careful about it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you're also teaching as yes. well, so can you tell me a little bit about your the workshops that you're offering? And, yeah. And, yeah. So I, I, I taught more a while back, and then I, I just... I, I, at one point in 1998, I realized, okay, I, 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 the moon was full and I was going to teach this class. And I went, I always knew how to do this. That's what it took. Like, I, I, I taught and I acted. And as I was teaching, I was acted in films and on stage. But there was this 10-year period where I taught. And I, it's so funny. You know how they say you teach to learn? It was, it was this particular moment where I said, okay, I've learned what I need to from all this teaching, which is, I always, I always knew how to do this thing. You know what I mean? I always know how to do this, this thing so-called acting or being other people or being a person other than you using yourself. And uh, I finished teaching at that point. But then people want me to do this because <clears throat> there's not many people around who have studied with Stella 
been through the actor studio experience as well, which I I had that experience through Kim Stanley. So <clears throat> about three or four times a year, I, I do weekend workshops and have people learn how to relax very proactively. That's a big one. It's called the chair. This is an exercise that everybody from Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, Robert Dinner, all these people talk about you sit in the chair going, ha, 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 for quite a while. That's just the start. And what you start, you learn where there's blocks in your body. You learn where you hold tension. And that's kind of a first step even when you're doing a scene is to notice uh, where am I tensing up? And if you relax that area, then magic starts to happen. And you start to move towards having something approximating the experience of the character you're portraying. And there's other things I do. When I have people improvise a lot, there's no line memorization initially because it's about focusing on where am I, who am I. So I, I, I throw a scene at people, I say, okay, look at this scene for 20 minutes and then come back and, without a paper. And don't worry about the words. And they just go. So they're immediately going, what, what's that person saying? What, where am I? What, what's happening next? What do I want? Like, you know, all those, all those things that you, uh, to some degree, should have happening when you're acting, you know. <laughs> like here I am, you know, searching for words to say. That's very real. I'm thinking about, okay, what am I? Okay, what's your question? <laughs> right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you're also developing some of your own projects. So tell me a little bit about those as much as you can. Yeah, we're developing some features. We're developing a series um, as well. Uh, the series, I could say, I guess what I could say is that it's loosely based on the writings of Herman Hess, if you know him. And that's about all I can say. And there's, a, there's another project, and I don't know if it's going to be a series or a feature where it's about me in the world exploring, uh, let's say, those darker, mysterious nooks and crannies of, uh, of uh, the world we live in, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's about it, another, another film uh, about a writer. And that's about all I'll say about all of that, yeah, because we have to be careful. People can steal your ideas. This is true. Something that you think that just comes out of the top of your head, somebody else might go, oh, that's incredible. They're going to steal that idea. And I know people who have had ideas stolen. It's a long road to reclaim that stuff, lots of legal fees and stuff. So that's all I'm going to say. And a man of mystery. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I work with my mom, yeah. uh, and t I know you just mentioned uh, you had a daughter as well. Mm -hmm. So do you guys collaborate at all? We do. We're both musicians and songwriters, so we collaborate and we jam, we record, uh, we work together on our uh, music would be the main thing. She's a great actor too, um, so she's involved with some of these projects that I'm developing as well. She's playing some roles in these films and series and stuff, yeah. Yeah. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on uh, your workshops uh, online? That would be, the administrator's name is Donna Marie Wright. Mm -hmm. Donna, like the dawn, like the morning sun, D-A-W-N-A, -A Marie, M-A-R-I-E, Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T, at gmail.com. So yeah, come take a class. Awesome. I don't do them that often. <laughs> and they're fun. Revelatory. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, thank and you, congratulations on all of the things you have going on. Thank you so much, Katie. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. Bye. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.